To me, she is little. That's the nickname that I call her. Come on, little. There you go, baby. Off we go. Her body has scars all over it. Most people don't see that, though, especially if she has on one of her coats. They just think she's an old little dog. And for a lot of people, that's as far as I want to take it. Sometimes I just don't want her to have that negative attention. I don't know how she survived or why she survived, but she did. Some of the dog fighters want to say, oh, they love it. They've been manipulated into this. If you don't cut it as a fighting dog, then they kill you. The traditional historic relationship to dogs and fight bus was simply to regard them as damaged goods and to kill them. We'd been advocating for their survival. We'd been advocating for them to be given a chance. How could we not step forward and give them that chance if we were the only ones who could? Most of the time, people don't even hear about dog fighting cases. Because of the status of one defendant in particular, the general public started asking, why do you have to kill these dogs? Come say hi. Come say hi. Come here, bro. Officers found treadmills, whips, chains, injectable drugs, one of the biggest and most elaborate dog fighting compounds they've ever seen. <laughs> The best that we could hope for was that we could show the general public that you don't have to be afraid of the dogs just because of the situation that they came from. We never thought twice about taking a dog from a fighting situation. We always thought it was going to be a lifelong journey for Cherry, but we also didn't think he would come this far. He'd go boy -like. All of the dogs, not just Cherry, have taken this opportunity to really show the world why shouldn't we have the chance. No one will ever, ever hurt this dog ever again. And I think she believes that now. Let's go, Littles. This is where she was meant to be. She knows that she's home. <laughs>